Hey Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see whether or not you and your spe special person will be given a second chance. So we'll see whether the two of you might be might be able to come back together here in the future, if your paths will cross, if there will be a chance for you to reconcile your differences, or if you'll be given just a second chance in love again, okay? Um, sometimes we don't always get it right the first time. This is why second chances are so important. So we'll take a look and see if you and your special person here will be given that second chance, will be given a do-over. Um, this is going to be a general reading, so guys, please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email just below the video here. So I'll give the cards a shuffle, and towards the end of the reading, I'll also be pulling out one card from the angel answers just to sort of crown the reading and see what messages the angels whisper to you so will you be given a second chance strength card okay straight away the message i'm getting is stay strong or some of you have been staying strong for, for quite some time now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the ace of swords empress the four of cups the sun and the six of swords. Wow, okay. Um Okay, it's this is quite it's quite a heavy energy here because straight away I do feel like with the strength card someone here has been staying has been trying to keep their strength. You know, they have been staying strong for themselves and their loved ones. They have been staying very hopeful and optimistic about possibly reconciling or possibly coming back together, possibly having another chance with this person here. Someone here, I feel like I see someone here has reached out and I see the other person being not as responsive or possibly not responding in the way that the other person wanted for them to respond. So especially with the Ace of Swords, I definitely someone seeing, I see someone having initiated or will be initiating com communication and conversation but I see the other person being a little bit almost standoffish or a little bit cold or a little bit distant or just a little bit too in their heads with the four of cups and so it will make the other person feel as though they're either losing interest or they don't feel what they once felt before so it's complicated because I feel like you may not necessarily be on that same emotional wavelength on that same frequency as one another which which is, I can see what's hurting you, given the swords are a weapon energy. Will you be given a second chance? With regards to this connection, I feel like <clears throat> some of you, I don't know that you will be given a... I mean, I feel like you will be. You might be given a second chance, but I don't know that that second chance is going to go the way that you want it to go. Because I feel like with the Four of Cups, someone here is just too in their head about things. They're just... Either they feel too too much pressure or they're just putting too much pressure on themselves or the other person or they feel too much pressure from family and friends. Someone is so much is in their head so much that essentially it's emotionally complicating everything for them. And I feel like someone he may not be ready. Someone is and someone isn't. And I feel like this is why the scales have tipped over and they're in balance. They're not necessarily in your favor. Whilst I do see there's an abundance of emotion and whilst I do see there is potential for growth, I feel like this is exactly what needs to happen. Someone needs to work on themselves first because I feel like either your person that you're dealing with may not have the same emotional maturity as yourself or they may need to work on themselves. They may need to work on a business here, build a business. They may be doing some studying here. I feel like there's something here that they need to work on themselves before. I, for some of you, I can see that there's children involved. Okay, You've got the Empress Fertility. You've got the son, the child in the... Uh, in the foreground here so there's children in world maybe your person here needs to build a better relationship with their child or is working on um is working on just spending some time with their children here or maybe it's you you're the one that needs to spend some time with your children or build a better relationship with your with with a child here because children i feel like are such a focal point in this energy for some of you, you are in a separation with this person. You might have been like married or in a partnership with this person and you've had children with them. And you want for them, maybe the reason, a very big part of the reason why you want to come back together is you've built a life with one another and you want for them to improve that relationship uh, with, their, with, you know, with your children here. So it gets complicated because I feel like the two of you will get an opportunity 
to come back together but what i'm seeing is before that opportunity is made available to you i feel like there needs to be a lot of growth a lot of growth a lot of healing now the, you can do this individually or the two of you can come together and you can sort of help each other grow and help each other heal here it just i don't know how your energies work i feel like I feel like it's always important to sort of confront your own pain and your growth individually. But obviously, you know, if the two of you can be that source of strength for one another, that's better still. I guess it just depends on the energy fields that you're in. So you will get an opportunity to come back and possibly reconcile your differences or build a second chance with one another. But I feel like there needs to be a lot of growing here. here. I feel like someone here needs to do some... They need to learn some life lessons or they need to do some maturing. They need to do some growing up or they need to do some healing. They need to build on a better relationship with themselves or with their children. Then there needs to be, I feel like a lot of things need to happen before the two of you can come back together. The other interpretation I get for some of you watching is that I'm seeing that you need to, okay, the troubled past that this person has had, they need to leave it behind. Because for some of you, this individual, they're not a bad person, but I feel like they either got mixed up with the with the bad like with the bad crowd with the wrong crowd or they mixed up they got mixed up doing bad things like indulging in toxic substance or just living an unhealthy lifestyle and that essentially created a turbulence in your relationship so this person will need to leave that behind they will need to leave that past behind the, that troubled past and sail away from those troubled waters before the two of you can sail into smooth seas or the two of you will have to if you want to get a second chance you can't keep looking backwards. You can't keep looking backwards and you can glance back at, you can keep, glance back and see, okay, it didn't work because we did this. We made this mistake. Don't hold on to that regret because the weight of regret is really heavy. Use it as a tool, as a learning tool for any future relationships. But do not unpack your bags. Do not stay in the past because the past is gone. And a big part of moving on and a big part, of this deciding factor, whether or not we'll, you, you will be given a second chance is all dependent on are you strong enough to move on from the past are you strong enough to forgive the past forgive themselves forgive yourselves forgive your past move on so you can look to the future here because i can see that someone here has been staying strong for quite some time okay and essentially everything that you've gone through hasn't weakened you it's strengthened you but I do feel like if you really want this second chance, and there is potential, there is opportunity for abundance and growth, and there's an opportunity to come back together. But I feel like someone he needs to work on themselves, and someone he needs to leave the past behind. They need to move away from the past. Okay, so we'll see what the angel answers have for you. So I'm just going to pull out one card, just see what message they hold for you here. Listen to your intuition. Okay, so I'm a big believer in listening to your intuition because it's never going to guide you wrong, uh, in the wrong direction, right? So there's something about this, there's something about this connection here that, I, or this relationship that, in which the angels here are asking you to listen to your intuition. So sometimes your person might not be entirely honest with you, okay, especially about their experiences with the past and whether or not they've moved on. Sometimes your person might be trying to fabricate a truth or sometimes we see things as we want them, as we want to see them rather than as they are. So listen to your intuition. If you feel like you're trying to fabricate, you know, your story, you're trying to fabricate your narrative, then listen to your intuition because it's not going to steer you wrong. Because there's something about this connection that I feel like you need to listen to your intuition and that's going to be very helpful in possibly reconciling or maybe in the time frame in which you will reconcile. Like, don't reach out to them if you're not ready. I know you might want to, and your head might say, reach out, do it, do it, do it. Um, or no, your heart might say, reach out, do it, do it, do it. But your head might say, not right now. You still need to work on yourselves, or you still need some space and some time between one another. So listen to your intuition, okay? Because it won't steer you in the wrong direction. It'll make sure that you'll end up exactly where you need to be. Alrighty, my lovelies, and these are your messages. I do hope that these have been helpful for at least some, if not all, watching. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing. I, of course, will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned. And for those of you after a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.